so hi julie dens i'm back with another video it's another vlog if you're new to my channel welcome my name is amina i do a bit of everything on this channel so please feel free to subscribe your girl trying to hit 100k so i would really really appreciate it i just got home from my morning walk hence the attire very sporty very sporty chic you feel me i've been walking a lot recently like a lot it's something that is very calming for me like it's like my escape like just walking because you guys remember like i used to walk heavy heavy like back in like 2021 2020 it's just so calming and that's why i really don't vlog it or anything like that because it's something that generally brings me peace and i feel like once i start vlogging it it's gonna feel like i'm doing work i'm doing it's a chore to get b-roll footage and stuff so if i do have my camera on me and i want to record i'll record some footage for you guys but i rarely get enough footage for it to be like a cute little you know montage so yeah i just got back from my morning walk i typically could walk like in a day ranging from like 6,000 to 10,000 steps depending on the day like I said depending on the day like let's say it's a day where I'm like running errands with my car probably closer to the 6,000s but let's say I'm just walking around my neighborhood or I'm walking to different places and stuff like that probably towards 10k or whatever so yeah walking has been very beneficial for me like honestly speaking like my mental state physical state everything today is thursday november 17th i don't think i told you guys the date it's currently 2 16 um i slept so late last night because i was working on a video today we're gonna go to the city i'm taking a train today because i just i can't i don't want to deal with parking i don't want to deal with you know looking for park i just can't it's going to be rush hour both ways going to the city and coming back from the city so i'm just gonna take the train i'm gonna just do that it's fine there's nothing wrong with the train i just have not been on the train and i've gotten so accustomed to driving that it's like oh it's so draining to have to take the train like, that's really where i'm at right now with it but i literally said i'm like girl It'll be so much quicker if you just took the train. Like, you won't be so stressed out. But we're going to go to city, and I'm going to go place my order for my Givenchy truck. <laughs> and I really want to join the juice. I really want to join the juice. But I was like, girl, go place that order. Like, go place that order. I didn't place it last week because I was like, okay, let me actually think about this. Okay, girl, you're being a bit too impulsive. But I'm placing that order today. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna get some Joe and the Juice. That tuna melt, that spicy tuna melt, is so fire, y'all. Like, I've been thinking about it and reminiscing about it since the last time I had it, and I need it. And the closest Joe and the Juice to me is like on 98th Street. Um, I have on a basic cute little outfit. This headband is from Target. Um, my set is PLT. So, yeah, there's that. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all once I get to the city. Anyways, y'all, so I'm on my way down to the city. I know I sound sick of train. Like, I kid you not. I kid you not. I really had, like, full intentions on taking the train. But then I saw my brother home. I was like, do you want to come with me and just sit in the car? And guess who I'm with? I'm with my brother. So we're going down to the city. He's going to sit in the car while I go in real quick and just do my stuff. Because I'm sorry. Like, I just don't like... I don't know like I really don't know what it is anymore like and it's no it's really sad though it's really sad because I need to stop that's not okay but yeah we're going to the city now he doesn't want to be on camera <laughs> yeah we're going to the city and it's traffic I, the thing is I'd rather sit in traffic than take the train and I don't know why like I just like the comfort of my car like I don't like being no i don't want to be on the train like i just like the comfort of my car i can listen to my own music because I, i'm first of all i'm missing a whole airpod so i wouldn't even be able to listen to like music for real for real so yeah i like the comfort of my my car so that's what we're doing i'll talk to y'all once i get to the place made it to the city and i'm walking to jimanchi right now my brother's in the car make him sit in here i think i might have to buy him some food or something but yeah to make up because i you know he's doing me this favor because yeah i was really gonna have to take the train but it's like four o'clock right now and i'm gonna go and place my order hopefully hopefully they got some boots because he was like they was they were gonna get it soon so wait why did the cash know okay let me go in i'm in and i'm waiting um they're gonna help me with it but i'm super excited like i'm happy your shit better fit if it don't fit y'all i'm a daddy cry for real, for real. <laughs> I'm gonna actually cry, but I think it should. Have shark boots? Yeah. It's in January. Wait, he so he told me it was November. No. Last time I came, I forgot his. I don't know his name, but he gave me his card. He told me, um, you guys are doing another drop in November. No, they pushed it back to January. 
Okay, do you know what week in January? I think maybe the first week. Okay, that's fine. But obviously, if it comes, if it comes earlier, okay. obviously you'll get it. You know, depending on who leaves that deposits first. Okay. Okay? Gmail. But trust me, you're on the same boat with a lot of ladies that's waiting for the wide leg chart boots. Do you have any in stock so I can see if, um, how it fits? I don't have any in stock. They're no. all gone. After it dropped and it was online, like everybody started calling the store. Like, oh, do you have it? We're, we're like, no, we don't have it because it was just a small. Yeah. It was such a small supply. And then they're they're like, okay, we got to ramp up production, but yeah. obviously, like, it's hard to produce these boots. It's labor intensive, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they're like, it's gonna be in January. Wow. So they yeah. pushed it back, basically. They pushed it back. It's going to be a bigger supply, obviously. That's good. Um, so they might... What I heard is that they, they're going to branch out in terms of colors. They, they might make a red one in the future, like for spring. Oh, okay. Yeah, and hopefully gray thereafter. But as of right now, this is January. Yes. Trust me, I want them to deliver it now because it's perfect for the holiday yeah, time. Yeah, and I need it for a trip. I was going to wait to shop there, but... No, with the shark like, boots, yeah, not so I was like, I'd rather just do the shark boots no, now. You're not getting the shark boots there, trust me. Yeah. You're paying by card? Okay. Yes, card. Okay. Do you need my ID? Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you, John. So, we're placing a little board saw. I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, as y'all heard, they pushed the uh, release date back because you guys remember last. Like two vlogs ago, they said that they were gonna um, get them at the end of November, but if they have any um, circulating or if they arrive earlier, then clearly I'll get it because you know um, I already paid the deposit and everything. But they said that the, like the next drop is in January, and I'm going on a trip in January. I'm really just trying to like create some looks or get looks um, gathered for that. Um, not even really for this winter season because i could do calm new york looks you get what i'm saying that that's why like i'm really like you know trying to get some pieces now um i'm so upset that i missed facts uh what is this their gift card event because they recently they had their gift card event i think neiman's has their running right theirs running right now but neiman's really has anything so that's why i'm just like okay but sacks i'm kind of upset because they just launched tom ford in their um is there something on me no they just launched tom ford um shoes in sacks I was like, damn, I could have put that at Zach's and got a gift card with it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. Is she gonna be a, a shark boot girly? <laughs> but after here, I wanna go do some John the Juice real quick. And then we're gonna go. I don't know, my brother's. The thing is, my brother, right? If I do him a favor, he's like, okay, can you drive me here real quick? Can you do this, like, you know? So, I'm gonna see if I can drop him. I don't know, he's, he wants to go eat at this place called Sugar Bar. Um, He loves it, it's like, they sell like nice lamb chops or whatever, so I'm like, okay, let's see. But, yeah, we just placed the order. You guys, I just left, um, we placed the order. I don't get the email, but I have my receipt. <laughs> I need to make sure I don't lose my receipt. This is one receipt I cannot lose, okay? But I'm in their system and everything, and he said that he put me on the spreadsheet, and hopefully it comes sooner, like he's gonna be in contact with me, he's me, send me a text and everything. And I'm glad that I went with him, because no shade. The associate that I went to on when I was here, I think last week, he was just so like, I don't know how to explain it like he just wasn't my vibe like he didn't think that I really had it to pay for it type thing like he didn't, he wasn't paying me no mind as soon as I entered John was so cool so nice willing to help so I'm happy that you know I did my business with him basically so <laughs> I'm back to my car I'm about to go get my joy and juice and then yeah I made it to uh, Joe and the Juice. I'm about to get my freaking tuna melt, bitch. I'm so I'm happy. May I get a spicy tuna melt? With mozzarella, please. Thank you so much. Amina, A-M-I-N-A. Thank you. We got the sandwich, and why is my battery freaking dying, y'all? But this sandwich is so freaking good. Like, I definitely recommend, okay? I got the sandwich. This is a, you wanna try some? It's a spicy tuna, um, milk. Okay, but yeah. I get a spicy tuna melt, and I also add um, some mozzarella cheese on it, and it's so good, y'all. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing right now, cause I gotta go pick up my little sister. But it's so good. Tuna melts are good. 
you're missing out. And it got pesto on it, I think. Pesto, tomato, jalapenos, hot sauce. You never have pesto? Nah, you missing out on a lot of this stuff. Pesto? I don't know, it's like a... No, pesto is... <laughs> pesto is like a, um, a sauce, like, you know how I make a condiment, basically. Mm. It's done good. Seasoning? You could use it as a seasoning, but it's like a condiment, like mayo, ketchup, and stuff like that. It's pesto. Pesto sauce, you could put it on like a sandwich. You put it in like your eggs and stuff like that. It's really good. What is it? Well, let's Google it, because I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it contains crushed garlic, European pine nuts, um, salt, basil leaves, hard cheese, Main ingredients is just um that basically, but no, it tastes good though, and it has some olive oil. Bowl. I'm gonna get my chest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, he's not touching me. <laughs> nah, but why are you oh, so my thing is though? freaking blinking. I'll talk to y'all later when I get home now. We just made it home, cold is still on and everything, but I got my um, I placed my order for my boots. That's what I was doing today because I just want them. And I pray that they fit. You feel me? That's basically. I just pray that they fit. I feel like I deserve them. I've been working a lot, like you know. I've been. I'm proud of myself. And this is something that I've wanted for so long. I was like, let's just do it. So I'll keep you guys updated on when they come. I pray that they come before their due date or whatever. But it's currently 7:41. I can either organize my clothes. I have a pile. When I say a pile, a mountain of clothes that needs to be organized, sorted, everything. I need to do laundry as well. But I'm gonna do that today. So I can either organize those clothes and put them in like, either hang them up or store them away because some of them is summer stuff and I'm, it's winter time right now. So I can either do that or I can edit. And I'm leaning towards editing because I don't really got to move around. I could just sit in bed and edit. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know why I had these two as a suggestion because I low-key knew what I was going to do already. My Joan juice is so good. I'm so full. I am so, that is so good. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Get a spicy tuna melt from Joe and the juice with some mozzarella cheese. A1, bro. A1. I got the itis, Loki. Now I don't got the itis. Like, I'm up, but like, I'm tired, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna start editing. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. See, you guys, it's the next day, and we are Jersey bound today. I don't know why this car is slowing down. First up, we're gonna go to Garden State. I gotta go to Nordstrom. I wanna do an exchange real quick, and then I wanna also shop at Zara. And I also wanna go to American Thrift. Why is this lane so slow? Like, I want to move, but I need to be in this lane, so that's what I'm just say. But, um, yeah, that's what I want to do for today. It is currently at 2.17, y'all. I've been up since 8 a.m. And it's crazy, because I went to sleep at like 2 a.m., right? Because I was just on my phone, to be honest. I edited some sponsorships that I had to send in for approval. And I've been waiting for this one video to get approved for days now. It's taking so long. Like, I don't know why it's taking so long for Brandon, but it's taking so long. Like, when I tell you they've had this for probably like a week now, it's outrageous because I send like the previews before the video is even done. So, I typically film my sponsorship before like the whole video is done or the whole vlog is done or whatever. So, I typically film that and then edit it and send it out to Rand as soon as possible so they can approve it so I won't have to wait for them once the video is ready, if that makes sense. I sent this to them like a week ago, y'all. And they still have yet to approve it. Initially, they sent back some feedback saying, oh, you have to change the song. But they're just taking so long to reply and it's quite frustrating because it's making me seem like I'm not, you know, being consistent. I really wanted to give you guys like a midweek upload, but it's Friday. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really thought that this video was gonna be out and live Wednesday. It's a good problem to have. I'm really not complaining at all. I'm just like, damn, like, you know? I'm gonna go to Garden State Plaza first because I really haven't been there in a while. And I wanna do some shopping, some, um, I know, actually, I need to stop doing shopping. I just spent too much yesterday, like, for real, for real. Like, I spent bad money yesterday. And you guys know, I don't shop like that for real, for real. I buy, like, one expensive purchase every blue moon. You know, I'm not doing that every day. You guys know, like, I'm not really like a, oh yeah, I gotta shop, I gotta be in the time 24 seven. Like, I'm a, y'all, I'm a very frugal person, but when you want something for so long and you worked hard for your money, treat yourself, spoil yourself. Money is not meant to just be held. I mean, don't get me wrong, save your money, invest your money. But if you're doing all those things and you're still working hard and you're not 
shopping crazy 24-7, treat yourself. I know I really don't even shop like that. Like, I might do some Zara shopping and stuff like that. But I tell you, I, like, return, not return majority, but, like, it's not as much as I think it'll be, like, if that makes sense. I've cut back a lot, and a lot of the stuff that I have, I even get, like, secondhand off of Poshmark or, like, I get them thrifted. Let me move this up, because this is actually scaring me. I don't know if it's because, like, I'm driving a certain way, but... Yeah, like I really, I mean, I'm not even trying to justify my spending habits. I'm really not. I'm just saying, like, I'm not over here just blowing a bag mindlessly. I just really wanted those boots for a really long time. But treat yourself, like, period. Y'all know I'm all the way here for that. Treat yourself, make yourself happy. Y'all, for the past two days, I've been eating everything bagels because my dad bought it, right? I've never had an everything bagel before. Like, I tried the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. Cool. But everything bagels are so good. I've been using vegan cream cheese because that's the only cream cheese I had. It is really good. So I'm gonna try regular cream cheese. I feel like I find like regular cream cheese as well with it. But like everything bagels are so good. Like what the, I was like, come on. Like why am I just not getting hip to this? But um, they're so good. And I've been on like my oatmeal wave recently too. But I'll talk to y'all when I get to um, either Nordstrom Dara or Sephora because I don't know which one I'm gonna hit up first, whatever one is closest to the entrance, basically. You guys remember a few vlogs ago, I was like, oh, I would like this crop jacket that I saw on Zara's website. Well, I tried on the jacket similar to this, $90. The other one that I tried on was like 300. So I think I might get this one. I got this in size large. I don't know that I wish this just stayed down or something. I don't know, but like, it's a cute jacket. Like, let me show y'all. Like, Guys, but I don't know. I like it though. It's cute. So I think I'm gonna get it today. Yeah, this is it. This is size large. I don't know. This thing not flapping, like staying closed, is kind of bothering me. I wish I had a button for like right here so it can stay. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get this. Some in Australia, y'all, and I'm looking at skims. Why do they have like the pink glitter? This is dumb cute. Like, and they have it in black glitter too. Like, y'all see that shine? Like the viral dress. This is cute. But I need some shapewear. <laughs> That's really what I came in here for. Um, not even from Skims, but from Spanx, actually. There is this one um, shapewear that I like by Spanx. It's real nice. And it's not like a crazy hold or something like that, but like it smooths you out so good. Um, let me see. They got any Skims? The bodysuits? I like the bodysuits a lot, though. But let me see if they have... Um, I don't really need any Skims, to be honest. I'm trying to look for... The, oh, yeah. The high power... Panties, I specifically, I personally like the shorts, but the things high power panties or high power anything is so good. The shorts is right here. These shorts are so good. I got put onto these last year when I was in ATL and no, Miami actually. And this was just amazing. Like it smooths you out so good. So I'm trying to get some of these. Um, I get black, nude. So, yeah, and I think I might be a large. It needs to be a large. It's not a crazy, crazy, like, hold. Like, it does has high power, but it definitely does move you out, like, crazy. Like, it's so good. So, I definitely do recommend it. I think it's, like, I don't know. Last time I bought I think it was, like, 30 or 40. How much is it? It doesn't say it on the um, thing. But I don't remember. I bought it, like, in February. But, yeah, I want to be up on these. And... Yeah, these are so good. This thing's higher power short, y'all. Get these. I'm gonna put my hand on my mouth because my lips are ashy and I'm gonna play me these comments. <laughs> but yeah, I'm leaving and I'm not going to American Thrift because first of all, I forgot how overwhelming that thrift store is, right? I'm drained. Like, I'm not drained 100%, but like, I'm like 50% drained and I just know myself. I'm gonna go then. I feel like I'm gonna waste my time. Like, I'm not even gonna really properly look and thrift the way I wanna thrift because I'm gonna be so overwhelmed and I'm gonna be drained. So I'm on my way home, but like, you know how you know when you're about to be drained? Yeah, I, I already see it coming. I'm not gonna sit here and waste my time and go all the way over. I mean, it's not even that far. I probably like, it will probably be like 10, 15 minutes away, but I'm like, nah, let's just go home. So I need to go to the beauty supply store and re-up on mad hair supplies. Like I have no more hair supplies. Like my wig grip gel is done for, what else? My ebon spray done for, Bleach powder done for developer. I need to go and be up, and I know I'm gonna spend that money today just at the beauty supply store alone because you know I don't know why I just be adding up at the beauty supply store. I think I'm gonna spend like at least forty dollars at the beauty supply store. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to the beauty supply store and get some stuff because I really need like 
all that stuff. Like I have nothing. Guys, I made it to the beauty supply store. I have some stuff in my basket already. I can already see how much this is coming up to. I didn't even feel like going to Target. So I was like, you know what? If I'm paying more, I'm gonna just pay more. But yeah, I have some spritz. I'll show you guys everything that I get once I get home. I just wanted to update you guys. I think I'm gonna make a TikTok, like a, you know, re-up with me TikTok. I don't know. Never did I spend almost $80 at the freaking beauty supply store today, y'all. What was my initial guess? 40? First off, the price of everything has went up. So, ladies, ladies, if you're going out on a date or whatever, or whatever, you better be charging men. <laughs> I am so serious. Because imagine, right? English accent real quick. Imagine, right? You get dolled up. You put, I don't know, 300 pounds of makeup on, right? Not 300 pounds, but like 300 pounds worth of makeup, right? <laughs> 300 pounds worth of makeup, right? And your freaking hot supplies are worth like 200, 200 quid. <laughs> your hair supplies are worth 200 quid. Mine needs to be paying just to see you, not for the day. Mine needs to be paying just to see you, not for the day. And it's not on no escorting tip. It's on a, a pay for my time. Because why did I just spend $80? 80 dollars dollars at the beauty supply store mine needs to be paying to see you even if you get your head on for yourself if you if you're going out on dates and you put on makeup and you're fixing your hair mine needs to be paying to see you not just with a date not no escorting tip mine needs to be paying to see you because it's crazy this is cra and i'm gonna show you guys what i got too i have two receipts because i have to go to uh, two different um beauty supply stores the first beauty supply store that i went to didn't have wood group jobs so beauty supply number one 59.79 beauty supply number two 14.13 60 15 75 dollars basically 80 dollars basically a hundred on um supplies how much stuff did i get i got one two three four five six seven eight ten items i didn't honestly have to buy wig caps because i have so many but i just see them and i always buy them whenever i go to a beauty supply store for some reason so yeah there's that got two wig rip gels this is the best gel to lay your wig down with like i kid you not get this gel i will it's actually cheaper on amazon it is cheaper i think this is how much was this i'll let you guys know the exact price i think it's like 5 on amazon this was 6.49 at the beauty supply store i'm telling you they be, they be taxing in the beauty supply store I'm going to link the Amazon version um, one down below. The only thing that I use to lay down my wigs is the best thing to use. And I got two because they went out pretty fast. Um, and yeah, so I was like, I don't want to have to go back. That's been a really long time. And then I got spritz because if you guys don't know, spritz allows your lace to like just melt into your skin. So yeah, TikTok told me this trick and I've been doing it. And I don't know where's my other spritz bottle. I feel like I know for sure I didn't run out of it, but I can't seem to find it. My Rosemary Mint Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner. I love this. Been using this for years, you guys. It's so good. I mean, my hair is short now, but I do need to start treating my hair. Because I have, y'all, I cut my hair and I don't touch it. When I tell you I don't touch this hair, this hair is dry, it's brittle, it's all of the above. I really don't take care of it. Like, I'm so serious. I do not take care of this hair. It's growing. I just don't take care of it. So, yeah. And then I picked up the uh, Miel Rosemary Mint um, Strengthening Shampoo. I got a neutralizing shampoo just for, like, whenever I bleach a wig or something like that. My headbands. Y'all see the headbands that I have? I get them from the beauty supply store. This one, actually, I got from Target. But I like the um, wider ones from the beauty supply store way better just because they're wider and i like them i just love a headband look in the winter time it just gives like ski 24 7 like i look like i'm going in the alps right now i'm going to the alps right yeah i look like oh not my light dying also i'm gonna link my legs down below too <laughs> got some dr bronner's peppermint soap um for some reason nobody is carrying dr bronner's liquid soap i've been to trader joe's i've been to target they never have it they only have the bar soap i'm like what's going on i've been to multiple trader joe's multiple targets and they never have it so when i started the beauty supplies, i was like let's just get it it's more expensive i paid 17.99 plus tax for this and i believe it's like 16 something or 15 something when i go to target and y'all see how much stuff i just bought first off all this stuff came and fit in my desk vanity area so i have to put it in my little boxes that i have above my packs so that's why i really need a new desk but i don't wanna i don't wanna spend that much money on impressions vanity right now 
Y'all think they work with influencers still? <laughs> no shade. Y'all think they work with influencers still? Let me let me reach out real quick. Let me reach out real quick. You know what I mean? Like I really don't know. But y'all, I'm gonna um take a shower real quick. I have to bleach awake tonight because tomorrow I'm going to be filming. Um, I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me. I'm doing a new hairstyle for that tomorrow. So I need to bleach that wig tonight and blow dry and everything tonight. So tomorrow morning I should be good. And then I need to also clean. Not clean, put away my summer clothes. But listen, I don't got the energy right now. For real, for real. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Probably tomorrow morning once I'm filming. So you guys, it is the next day. It is currently November 19th. 7.05, just finished filming. I'm about to eat some Jamaican food. My brother got me some Jamaican food. I'm dumb hungry. I didn't eat nothing all day. Um, but I filmed my video. I feel so productive because I filmed all of my content that I had planned to film this week. And I feel so happy. So, yeah, I want to take some pictures. Like, I think I look so cute. I did a good job in my makeup. I really wish I was going. Is this not focused? I bet you it was not focused. Yeah, I love this hair. It's giving silk press. Is it not? Is it not giving this to my real hair? Like, come on. You cannot say this is not my real hair. Come on. If you say that, you are a hater. I just found out my sister comes home tomorrow for Thanksgiving break. So, that should be fun. We might do something tomorrow. I just wanted to check in. I might show you guys my food when I start eating it. But I'm going to take some pictures first real quick. And, so, yeah. Yeah, the face is good. Let me download my um footage, though, onto my computer while I'm eating. I opened it. They have a lot. So, I got some jerk chicken, some mac and cheese, some plantains, and rice and peas. I really shouldn't even be eating this because Thanksgiving is literally in, like, a few days. Thanksgiving is literally next week. So, I was like, oh, I'm going to eat healthy before Thanksgiving. <laughs> I've been doing good, though. So, like, I don't care. He was, like, raving about it. So, I was like, nah. Don't rave about something in front of me because I'm going to want to try it right then and there. You know what I'm saying? So, he was like, the mac and cheese is good. I'm like... I'm looking at it right now. Mm. Nah, it's not me. <laughs> mm -mm. Let me try the jerk chicken. Well, I don't have storage in my phone, in my laptop. I'm going to try the jerk chicken. But if that's not good, I'm going to be tight. Because I, I would have just ordered from my usual um spot. But he was dreaming about this new spot. I was like, I'll try it. Mm -mm. What? It's not bad, but like, compared to where I usually go. What? My usual Jamaican spot, fire. Like, I've been going here for years. I'm going to eat it, though. Just don't waste his money, you know? But I'm going to talk to y'all later, though. I'm going to watch um, Love is Blind. These people look crazy saying I love you after literally one hour. Like, come on. Okay, it's the show, I guess. But I'm going to watch some Love is Blind. And, yeah, I guess I can't download this right now. But as long as the footage is good. Yeah, we're on our way to go thrifting, y'all. We're going to my unique. You guys know my favorite thrift. Um... Yeah, I always find so much good stuff when I go to my unique and I went yeesh. I'm gonna go. Hopefully you find some good stuff. Like I even wore a bag today and I usually don't bring a bag. It is so cold, y'all. Like when I tell you the wind literally almost took me away, I was like, nah, this is crazy. I I'm like, what is going on? My wig literally almost fell off. For the most part, it's like a regular winter day in New York. Like I'm used to the weather, but like the wind, it was just like yeah, I'm here, bitch. Yeah, I thought last week was cute and fun. Yeah, no, I'm here. I don't know what I was saying. Like, I lost my train of thought. But I really pray we find something cute. Why every Sunday I always want Chick-fil-A? Every single Sunday, I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to get Chick-fil-A. And it's Sunday. Like, come on. Like, it, it never fails, bro. Like, it never fails. Because I was just thinking, I'm like, oh, after here, I can go to Chick-fil-A. Bitch, it's Sunday. Like, you not getting no Chick-fil-A, okay? Y'all, I'm feeling this bag right here. If you guys know the brand Loro Piana, this is like the same leather that they have and i don't know i think this just might be real leather for real for real because look at the inside of it like you guys know when you go and get something handmade or custom made like they'll put this type of lining in it and like it feels really really high quality and it's only 12.99 so i'm trying to see i might get it though because i love the color and i think it's super duper cute you know like if i clean this off properly like i think this is mad cute like i don't know if you guys can really tell but like do y'all see how like detailed everything is like oh i don't know if y'all can really tell i mean the shape is not the best for like a regular tote bag but for like not a regular tote bag but like for my typical everyday tote bag but i really like it like it's super cute i got some pants for like 375 i'll show you guys everything that i get when i get in a car but this bag is super cute as like a everyday tote the thing is this is dirty right here but i feel like i could clean that off like i feel like i could really clean that off you know 
so Here we'll we see. I did end up not buying the um, bag just because I was like, mm, I don't know, like, it was cute. I didn't want it to just end up being a bag that I just had. I wasn't really sold on the silhouette of the bag, so I was like, mm, let's not get it. I did end up getting like these clean um, jeans. They're by Ringer. And guess how much I paid? Cause the orange was on sale today. The pants were original. Oh no, this not the. Oh, the pants were originally for Shane on. It was an orange tag, save seventy five percent. Total was a whopping three seventy five. 375 for some jeans and I love the length. They're super long. I think they're like a 34 inch inseam. So I was real happy. I think it's like a 34, 36 inch inseam, but it's really long. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was real happy about that. Like a lot of you guys ask me where I get like my long um, jeans from. A lot of times I get it from thrift stores or ASO. It varies depending on the style that I'm looking for because a lot of places just don't make inseams long enough for my liking. Like I want my pants to drape basically. Like if I have heels on, they still drape and a lot of pants don't do that so yeah but i'm about to go home it's literally 228 like we weren't even out for probably like 30 minutes um so yeah we're gonna go i think i want to get some chipotle real quick good morning you guys it is two days late of um what was the last thing that i vlogged i actually cannot remember but yesterday i didn't vlog because i genuinely didn't do much but one thing that i did do was treat my hair y'all i washed i conditioned i gave my hair a hair mask got my hair braided like wig braids redone y'all i feel so good like my scalp feels oh shut up don't calm down calm down let's not do that keep it cute okay but y'all it felt so good you know what i'm saying like my my scalp feels so good i don't know for some reason my scalp has just been so itchy like at one point i really thought i had like like i swear to god like it was so itchy at one point and it's not because it was dirty but i don't know what the hell it was i mean it's still a bit itchy now so i think i might have to go to a dermatologist i'm not gonna lie but it's only one section though like it's not even like oh my whole scalp is itchy no it's only like the back area that's itchy and i don't understand why but yeah i remember this half from last year yeah, I was like, I want to wear it. Like, I just want to give extra today. Like, for some reason. <laughs> I was like, I want to give extra today. I'm actually on my way to BJ's to go get some food supplies. Because, um, for Thanksgiving, I'm cooking. I've been cooking Thanksgiving dinners for years. Like, years. I was debating on whether or not I should go to a regular supermarket or not. But I was like, nah, let's just do... Let's just do that, okay? Let's just go to... BJ's and get everything that we need in bulk real quick. I have a nail appointment today at like 1.30. Literally made it last night because I was like, nah. I mean, the press on life is amazing. Do y'all see my nails? I did my nails, I think, probably in this vlog, I feel like. I did my nails in this vlog. And I was like, oh yeah, this is my nail. Did I do that in this vlog? Was that last week's vlog? Last time I showed you guys my nails, that was the last time I did my nails. And I feel like it's been like 10 days or two weeks already. So, yeah, and they last really, really long. So I definitely do recommend you guys. But, um yeah it's super cute like it's super duper cute they last a really long time but i'm i want to get my nails done oh i just popped one off without even thinking about it i should just pop the rest off because this is looking crazy like i literally just popped it off they're dead not even open yet y'all i'm weak i'm the first person in line but yeah you guys i'm just gonna basically get everything that we need for thanksgiving Honestly speaking, we just eat a big meal. We don't really necessarily celebrate it, but we just eat a big meal. I feel like that's the one time where it's like, okay, yeah, I gotta put my work in. Like, I'm talking shredding cheese myself. I'm talking, you know, mashed potatoes, some potatoes. You know, you gotta really show out on Thanksgiving and do it like it's a regular meal, for real, for real. So, yeah, don't get me wrong. Even with like the processed foods and stuff like that, my meal still be good. But Thanksgiving, my Thanksgiving meal? Oh yeah, are they going in? Oh, they going in, y'all. It's time for me to go in. Why haven't I ever heard of a Too Good smoothie? If you guys don't know, you guys know I love the Too Good yogurt. When did they come out with the smoothie? Oh yeah, I'm trying this out. The shirt, yeah, this is the one that I want. This what? Oh, I'm getting this for sure. And I've been shopping already, you guys, if you guys couldn't tell. But yeah, I got all my cheeses. Got my, you know, disposable wear potatoes. I think I need to get smaller potatoes. These are too big. Not smaller, but like not so much, if that makes sense. But we'll probably use it. I got this pastry, but I don't think I'm gonna get this one anymore. I'm gonna go see what other pastries they got. Got the um plates, pasta, yams, well, sweet potatoes, and then 
did. I forgot I got so far, but I'm gonna look. I need to get butter and I also need to get my meat, but my dad was telling me how he might go to the actual butcher for the meat for me, so I'm debating. I'm gonna just see if they have any good meat here. We'll do that, but I'm not getting no turkey by the way, but um, I'm really gonna try the Popeye's turkey because I've been seeing it all over TikTok. So if anything, I'm like, can we just try the Popeye's turkey and that's it type thing? Because I don't know, everybody keeps on saying it's so good. And I'm like, Popeye's chicken is not bad, so I don't mind trying the Popeye's turkey. And I'm mostly making fried chicken. I never make a turkey for Thanksgiving, like I hate turkey. But I don't know, the Popeye's turkey intrigues me, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna continue shopping and looking around and then I'll tell you guys later. Please begin scanning. 5, Shopping and honestly, it really wasn't that bad of a price, but I'm so excited to try this tulip smoothie. Like, I'm like, nah, I can't drive up without trying it. I'm gonna try the strawberry banana because that just sounds like a good smoothie to try. It says it's 70 calories, 10 grams of protein, zero added sugar, and it has three grams of carbs. I didn't even know they came out with this. Like, who, who was gonna tell me that they came out with a too good smoothie? Okay. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. But my battery's blinking. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I'm about to head home real quick. It's literally like a few hours later. Why did I decide to take a nap? I went to sleep at like 10 o'clock after I came home, unloaded all the groceries, put everything away, right? I decided to take a nap. I was like, I'm gonna get up at like 11 o'clock. You know, cause I was a little tired. I can see myself getting a bit tired later on. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna just take a, take a nap. Y'all, why did I wake up at one o'clock? And it was not because of my body that woke me up. I an alarm that alarm was just a reminder so if i'm doing anything i gotta stop doing it and start getting ready because it's one o'clock and i have an elephant at 1 30. that alarm ended up waking me up so i was like what is going on so now i'm not really rushing because it says i'm gonna get there at 1 32 but you know that was crazy i did not expect to go to sleep for almost two two or three hours that's crazy i finished all my work and everything um i do have like one video to edit but that's due friday and i got some time to do that so i might do that tomorrow but yeah i'm getting my nails done and y'all i think i might get some red nails like i don't know like i've been seeing it all over my tiktok and i was like nah i want to get red nails again you guys remember i got red nails for the first time ever like last year so I was like, nah, I think I want to do red nails one more time. Give it a try one more time. It was cute, but it was something way out of my comfort zone for sure, for sure. That's why I haven't done it since then. But I was like, I remember it being cute. You know what I mean? And now there's a red nail theory on TikTok. I'm not doing it for the theory. But I just see so many beautiful red nails on my feet. I'm like, okay, I really want to get red nails now. So we're going to go get some red nails, y'all. Um, it was either red nails or another set. I saw Dana Alexia um, do like this double French, but it was so cute. Like I have never seen nobody do it before. So I was like, oh yeah, I might do this if anything. But I think I'm gonna do the red nails. Um, with almonds, you know, it's gonna get real cute, real classy, real feminine, you feel me? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Since I'm four minutes away um, and no shade is giving, I'm parking right in front of the storefront. When I say right in front of the storefront, I'm talking about like, on sidewalk because i don't i mean i can find parking don't get me wrong but i don't really want to also driving a car that doesn't have a back camera y'all it builds character because guess what i know how to drive any car i kid you not like any car park oh yeah baby i could do that straight up straight why is this guy all in my car bro like stop trying, bro why is he looking at his lips right now be so uncomfortable anyways let me go so you guys i have to vlog my phone because my camera died but i got my nails and y'all i'm not gonna lie this ride looks real cute it's even grown and sexy it's just giving uh, like it's definitely the nail tech that I went to. I got my red nails done last time. I'm gonna insert a picture of it like right here, hopefully. 
And I'm gonna show it to you guys. I wasn't a fan because the shape wasn't it, but the shape, the color, and this is Valentino 101. I'm gonna use this Valentino gel um, polishes, but y'all, this color is just giving grown and sexy. So from now on, I'm only wearing all black outfits, cream outfits, or um, no, that's really a black or cream, because I wanna just exude this rich, feminine grown sexy energy you get what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna um curl this wig so i could just give like you know you know nice and blown out real classy because that's the energy i gotta exude now that i have red nails this no this is cute uh, y'all i was so scared of getting red i was scared that my nails were gonna look grannyish but these look good i really like how my hands look with these like they look real they look so beautiful my my hands look so beautiful and i think almond just might be my shape i just got to be more on top of it like i can't let it grow out like i do with my square because like i said when almond grows out the shape doesn't look the same but this shape just looks amazing and i freaking love it also i go to jules nails um yeah no my nails look good so happy i really thought it was gonna look grannyish i don't know if y'all think it still look grannyish but for me i like how they make my hands look they make my hands look real I don't know. They just make it look real cute. I'm about to get a pedicure. I don't know what day. Probably Thursday. Not Thursday because I'm cooking Thursday. Probably Friday. Um, But I don't know what I should get. I didn't want to get a red French tip because I don't do color on my toes. So I was like, maybe I should just do a regular French tip. But she said I should do like a pale pink. But I'm like, uh, I don't really want that contrast. Or I was like white, but I have white on my feet now. So I don't know. But yeah, I might just do French. Like a classic French that will be cute but yeah i'm super excited like i love the red like i did not think i was gonna like red i did not think i was gonna really like the red when i put some moisturizer on my hand some cuticle oil i know this is gonna be like oh yeah my hand is just gonna pay for everything you know what i'm saying my hand is just i got my hand out yeah thank you and i already like i'm not gonna lie the theory is low-key working because i walked in looking like this nobody nobody was really paying attention why when i walk out everybody is just like you know i don't know i don't know <laughs> but um yeah anyways let me go home it's 325 right now um yeah and i don't know what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day i think i'm gonna just go home edit a bit yeah it's just giving it's really giving and the skin is giving too like y'all see this i don't know what era i'm in right now but i like this era no lash amina ever is fire okay the next day you want to be in it okay vlog hi guys i'm with Teddy. we're in soho right now i took the train you know, today because yeah she made me take the train basically but we're going and we're doing some shopping not necessarily for black friday but just for, just for shopping. I haven't vlogged in Soho in months. Like, I haven't been to Soho in months, to be honest. But we're gonna hit up Zara, and I'm gonna show you guys um, some of the stuff that I end up getting. <laughs> I love Aritzia. I actually wanna go there after. The sun is out, y'all, and I'm happy I wore this lighter jacket with the hoodie. I wanna change my hat. I don't really like it. Why is this not focusing? I don't really like it, but yeah my sister looks so cute she looks so cute but this hat is really not my vibe i don't know but we're headed to zara and then after zara we're going to ritz y'all we got definitely shopping at zara we got some goodies you all i'm going on a trip i told you guys oh yeah in this vlog i told y'all but we're currently at joe and the juice i'm putting my sister on to joe and the juice for the first time i don't want to do spicy tuna sandwich my sister got the chicken sandwich and i low-key want to try it but she being stingy. But I got mine extra crispy, extra jalapeno, extra pesto. Because it's dumb good. But yeah, y'all, we got some goodies. I'm so happy. I'll talk to you guys later because I don't want to be copywritten. As y'all can see, she loves the freaking sandwich. <laughs> Did you guys know that they opened a Target in Soho? My sister needs to go get something from Target. I was like, okay, cool. So she would put it in her mouth. So I'm like, oh wait, it's right here. And like where it's at right now, this place has been in for so long. So I'm like, wow, the Target is right here. That's so cool. But yeah, she's getting some stuff. I don't necessarily need anything. Do I have need a Target while in Soho? Oh, they got one. So uh, we have mashed potatoes, yellow rice. This is my first time making candy yams. My brother said they were good. I made two things of mac and cheese. 
and this is chicken but I have more um, getting cooked right now so it's not only this and then my first year making cornbread because my little sister asked her she was like Mimi can you please make cornbread so hopefully it's good I did put some honey and butter on top after I let it cool down a bit um, I don't know why I look like it's burnt but it's not burnt I promise you so yeah I'm about to make some big ziti real quick and then I'll show it to you guys once everything is done I made everything here today I've been in the kitchen since 7 a.m. Freshly shredded cheese. It's a whole lot of grain. It is. No because I asked y'all if y'all wanted veggies. I said no. No. I said, do y'all want vegetables? Y'all said no. Y'all don't eat collard greens. No. I was like, let's do broccoli. Y'all said, mm, not really. Yes, I said corn. Y'all said, mm, not really. Anyways, y'all, this is the big Z. That's ricotta cheese on top. Sort of mash, sort of rice, sort of candy yam, sort of mac, sort of chicken. Why well, add more chicken and cornbread? Feliz Navidad! Uh, yeah, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving! So, y'all, it's way later. It's turning like 9 o'clock right now. And I'm just out in the room with my sister. But my sister is about to play this game called Spy. And basically, we have to guess who's the spy. I'm also currently uploading a vlog into okay. YouTube right now. Don't click someone else's. Just look at your role. Don't let her see your role. If you're so, I have to tap it, right? Yes. Okay. So, do I tap it again? Yes, okay. Timer's starting, okay. So, okay, I start asking questions, guys. Can you start at the first questions? I don't know how I should format the questions. Okay. Like, what should I do? What are you dressed in? No, we're doing it based on location. So ask, can you, would you go here with your family? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Would you go here on a date? Why am I asking you on a date? No, no. Maybe. No, no, Go, what you know? What you know about that? <laughs> Is it free to go to? Can be. Okay. okay. I have a question. What? What does the spy have to do in the game? Like, they have to, they have do to. we have to guess who who's the spy? Yeah, we're gonna vote who who's the spy. spy. Okay. Go. Yeah. Okay. Can you can you act like a guest at this place? Yes. Yeah. What do you mean a guess? Like don't go too deep into what it is or Yeah, don't when it goes. Just just leave your question like that. I feel like she said a guess, but guess it's a guess. Okay. okay. Who do you think it is yet? Yeah, let's vote. I think it's you. Yeah. Okay. I think it's Aisha. I think it's me. And <laughs> that's our final guesses. It's me. I knew it was you, like <laughs> I'm like, nah, because I should actually answer. I'm like, oh, wait, though, that goes with the, like, you know, the location. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. It's, it's because, no, it's because I was yeah, knocking. Two guys later, we're going to probably play one more round. Guys, it is the next day. Thanksgiving was yesterday. It is currently 5 12, y'all. I haven't done much today. Um, I went to the city for a bit, but it was nothing vlog worthy, to be honest. But I'm back home and I got some packages and I wanted to show it to you guys because like literally they came back to back to back. My red nails look so cute. Also, my freaking nail chip when I was slicing the potatoes. Or not slicing the potatoes, peeling the potatoes. I'm so upset. I don't know if you guys can really tell the difference. But yeah, these nails look cute. Like I already opened up the first package and this is from Etsy, y'all. I ordered some BCA dupes because I just had a look right i had a look in mind and i needed this necklace and earring combo and i was like i'm not spending ten thousand dollars on a necklace right now i'm gonna look for dupes because you guys know tj maxx has dupes and i purchased some dupes from tj maxx before so i was like dang i want a specific color i don't want to go to tj maxx staying there for mad long looking for a color that they may or may not have so i just went straight to etsy and i bought it link the exact shop down below but y'all it looks so freaking cute i personally like a dupe that has its own twist to it guys know i don't like to really do like the replica dupes or whatever so i was like uh i don't know how i feel about this but y'all it looks cute and i wasn't spending 10k on this necklace um and my look is still gonna be the same basically and especially with the red nails it's just gonna give grown and sexy like for real for real this is it let me tuck my nameplate in so you guys could just see it by itself but this is it it hits like right up here on me y'all see it it looks real cute Real expensive, you feel me? But it's not. It was real affordable, you feel me? And then I got the matching earrings right here. So, yeah. Y'all can't tell me it's not giving. It looks so cute. The green. It was just, ugh. I love this so much. Like, I thought this was super cute. Next package, I know what this is. It's from Fenty Beauty. Y'all, Aaliyah has influenced me to get the Fenty Beauty body 
what is the name of it the body cream the limited edition one i have not smelled this body cream at all she had posted on instagram how fancy beauty started their black friday sale like this was two days ago first off this is a fast shipment because i think i ordered these two days ago as well she posted on her ig story how fancy beauty started their um sale or whatever and the thing was on 30 percent off so i was like let me just buy it you know what i'm saying like what's the worst that can happen let me just buy it see what it is my job bought two this is the packaging right here i really want to smell the body butter first before i open up the gift because that's really what made me do this order i've been influenced to try this out and since it is limited edition i'm like okay just get the two because what if you like it type thing you know and i don't know if it was going to come before black friday was over so yeah this is the look if you follow Aaliyah, you guys know how it looks like that and it's the butter drop shimmering whipped oil body cream It definitely smells delicious. I feel like I have a body butter similar to this. Let me show you guys exactly what body butter is. It's not exact, like straight up exact. My Trader Joe's coconut body butter is so good. And it smells similar. But this one smells like a cookie. Like a sugar cookie type thing. Like it smells really, really good. Yeah, it's not bad. I feel like it's perfect for a warm night. But would I purchase it again? Probably not. If I'm going to be completely honest, I'm going to be completely honest. I probably won't purchase it again. It smells like a cookie. It's perfect for the holidays. No wonder it's limited edition. It's like perfect for the holidays. But, if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't think I'll purchase it again. But it is a nice smelling body butter. But in my personal opinion, I like my Trader Joe's coconut body butter. Or the um, Brazil nut by Trader Joe's. That's good too. This is not bad though. I'll keep it because I bought it. It's not bad. I'll definitely use this during like the evening time. It literally gives like warm, cozy, by the fireplace vibes. So, I'll definitely use it because I have it. It does have shimmer in it though. I don't know if you guys can really tell it, but I see some glitter sparkles, so that's a plus. And like I said, I purchased two. And I also purchased their conditioning lip oil, just because I've been feeling lip oils recently. And also, if I purchased something else, I was going to get a free gift, so I was like, let me just add this to cart. But this is in Cherry. Yeah, it's Cherry Treat. It's pretty small. I think I paid like $20 for it. Well, I like, oh, no, this? This I like. I like the body butter, too, but like I like this more. Oh, my God. Oh, I definitely recommend this. Well, I'm going to keep it on for a while to see, like, how my lips feel after. But right now, my lips feel hydrated. I did have some aquifer on prior to this, but definitely still feel like a drastic change from, like, the moisture levels, if that makes sense. Like, my lips feel way more moisturized. They look way more moisturized. The doubles does, like, a lip gloss kind of low-key, right? Yeah, it does. Also got two free gifts. So, I got the Body Duo. It has the mini body scrub and the mini butter drop, I believe. Yeah, butter drop. The mini version of the regular butter drop. And then I have like this little travel bag. Cute little Sherling travel bag, which I will definitely use. My verdict on the butter drop. It's not bad. It smells delicious and it has shimmering aspect to it. I'll give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Because I have body butters that not only smell good, but are more affordable. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's my verdict on it. But I definitely do recommend going to Sephora, seeing if you like it or not. And if you like it, girl, get it. Okay, period. And then the next package is from H&M. I saw a Nashley Sunny with this robe and I saw Leah with this robe too and I was like oh my god I want this robe so much and I got the size medium large no large extra large because those are the only sizes available but it's this oh it was wrapped up cuter but honestly speaking I really don't care it's like a terry cloth fabric oh yeah I'm living in this I'm living this robe I know myself I'm gonna live in this robe oh yeah this is how the robe looks it fits super super cute like it's the perfect size and it's giving Versace realness. But yeah, y'all, that's everything that I got. I think for the rest of the night, I'm going to start editing this vlog so you guys can have it out by Sunday. Because I plan on vlogging until Saturday, like I told you guys before. But I wanted to hop on here and show you guys some of the stuff that I'm already getting for Black Friday. I placed an order on House of CB today, Hanifa today, the other brands. I didn't do too many shopping, but I did some shopping on some things that I was eyeing for a bit. So, yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We're having a pottery class in the morning, and I'm super, super excited about that. I feel like for the majority of tomorrow, it might be montage mode so yeah if it is my apologies in advance if it isn't it isn't okay Okay. And once you 
once the light texture is gone, we're going to go straight into coning. So wet your clay again, using the bottom pads of your palms that are touching the wheel, squeezing towards your hands towards each other, inwards, and then dragging them upwards to the top of your clay. Do that however many times you need in order to get it home. Squeezing inwards, dragging them up towards the top of the mound to make it home. So you see how it's cracking on the edge here? Okay, so we're gonna dry it up. So yeah, removing the slip that's in your sponge. Okay. And squeezing the water out, turning your wheel on, and sliding it along the edge. So I think it's a little bit thin on the bottom, which okay. is what's making it kind of disconnect from itself. So how do I think how do I fix Yeah, so it just... Oh, we missed up! Uh, that's okay. That just means it was a little bit too thin on, <laughs> on the bottom. It's okay. It's a learning experience. I'll get you a new one. Aww. I just did this. I was so far. Yeah. I was so far. I was so low. far. Okay. Okay. Turn it on for me. All right. So get it back to that same point. Okay. Honing up, cry chopping down making the indentation and pulling out, and then you'll be ready to pull up, and I'll come back to you. Okay. Expert man. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, for you, you're ready to pull up. So you kind of want these, all of this right here, to be the walls of your ashtray. So turn your move on. Hey, hey, hey. You can already chop it off. So, okay. once that happens, don't put it back. Don't, don't put it Sorry. back. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this motion is what you're going to look like. So you want your sponge in your hand. You want your own.
So you guys, it is a Sunday. I haven't spoken to you guys all weekend. I'm going to go see Black Panther 2 and it's so freaking good. Um, but yeah, I took my first pottery class and the studio that I went to, it's called Studio Borrow and it's in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. I love the class. It was super duper intimate. It was like six people there. And that's typically how many people they have on an everyday basis because it's only one instructor. So that instructor needs to be able to help everybody in the class, especially since it's a lot of people's first time. And she was definitely hands on with everybody in the class and I enjoyed it y'all I messed up so many times after my bowl collapsed the first time it just went downhill from there and I made something at the end but it just wasn't it like you know what I'm saying like my original bowl that I was making was dumb fire I caught on dumb quick everybody was like wow you're doing so good like I was really you know in my zone but I definitely did enjoy it and pottery is definitely a hobby that I would like to pick up like I'm gonna book another class I think I'm gonna try a different studio not because I didn't like this studio just because I want to try different instructors maybe different people have different tips and stuff like that i definitely do want to start doing more pottery it was super duper fun that we had a blast i ended up making a bowl when it's done and it's finished getting glazed and stuff like that i'll show you how to bowl i guess but like mm, it's not all that but i definitely do want to take another class like i said it was so fun and then yeah that's really we did more stuff but i just didn't get to vlog everything because you guys know i already told y'all it's a 50 50 chance i'm not gonna be vlogging that much it's gonna be montage mode which it was but i just went to hop on here and end up the vlog properly and give you guys some information because i'm actually editing the vlog right now um but yeah i enjoyed myself i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i love you julian so much so freaking much and i will see you guys in my next one. Oh, <laughs> by the way i'm in my robe that i got from h&m this robe is so comfortable but yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye